specific to uh, studying for? Like, I is am it interested a company in or just regular s resident house or residential houses? Residential. Yeah, I'm interested in um, like the home culture, right? Because um, this is actually just a chance that actually I got to see you. We were not assigned to do research actually at Hafa. Mm. I I measured three three monk houses. Like we also interviewed the residents of the, the the monk people in the houses. Um, but I found a lot of things. I found I think in terms of the houses, they don't know much about what the paths of the houses are, and they use their right. they use in their own way. Like I see like the kitchens are different uh, the pantry room they store different cookware you know those big like pots are something like a steamer like the bamboo mm. stuff they use to steam rice something that i i found also available in the grocery store even the small boxes for sticky rice yes <coughs> and um i um I went to a uh, Chinatown in Chicago. I bought a big uh, pressure cooker that it doesn't take too much time to cook. A lot of time it is preparing the food. And uh, when I invite my friends, I don't know how many people come. So I wait until they come and I know exactly how much I cook. Then I just put in the pressure cooker, you have a couple of beers, then it's ready to eat. Yeah, it's very helpful, except for like, like something like beef. It's very hard yeah. to do, like for it takes <coughs> four or five hours for yeah. the pressure cooker. Is like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Ready. Yeah, I need one too. You know. Yeah. Something. It's wonderful. Yeah, I think you bought in Chinatown. It's like a Chinese store. Yeah, it's in Chinatown. It's on. Um, I forgot the name of the store, but um, all the way to almost to the end of the. Store Chinatown, almost to the end, and then uh, that store only carry um, cookingware. That you will see very nice knife, cooking knife or chopping knife or uh, pots, all kind of different. Which city? Like it's Chicago. Chicago, yeah. I'm just thinking. About yeah. Yeah, like actually, like it's kind of sad for Chinese people in Milwaukee because. We didn't even, we don't even have a community like Hmong people have, you know, like uh, Hafa and people can come in and you mm. have those <coughs> services for people for, you know, those like Lao cases or something, but like Chinese people, so small, like. Yeah, you know, you know um, I used to, I used to do, like I mentioned yesterday, I used to be the uh, community organizer that I have, uh, I, I met with a Chinese friend who very active and uh, uh, getting to vote or those things and uh, he mentioned the same thing he said that Chinese they don't have a organization that they come to meet or do something and uh, I happened to help two uh, Chinese family about their um, uh, house got uh, court violation <coughs> uh, one family got code violation. The other family, they uh, they came to put a uh, uh, the phone company put a I don't know what it is the big box and the backyard because the um, the lie is that they have the right to put a five feet each side and they are not happy about that. They came to us. I tried to help them, but I don't speak Chinese. And they don't speak w English very well, and I have a hard time. Oh, I that's so sad. Like, yeah, yeah, it's hard <coughs> to search. You don't know where to go to look for yeah. help. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Yeah, at that time, I, I wish I knew someone and call. Hey, come help us. But I tried to explain to her, to her that the city have the right for five yard and your backyard and five yard from the other guy's backyard because their lies right there. But she doesn't understand, but man, yeah. Yeah, if they it's have tough. second, like, kids or they can speak English, that makes things easier. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I, I see a lot of like Chinese people, like the second, like the, the elder generation, they didn't get a chance to have education here. You know, they just right. speak things like Hmong people here. They speak things that they needed to, you know, like they, yeah, so when we were doing interview, we need a translator, but I, I was just confused. So how, they have been here for 20 years when they just can't leave without speaking. I think they have their own way of, they just need to learn something the that basic, they need to. You know, yeah. something that they have to get, but not all the terminology. Like, for example, my wife is, uh, she worked for MTC, but she know all the school stuff, but when we go to the hospital to do interpretation, then she goes, hey, you do it. <laughs> you know, yeah, same it's thing, it's, it's different language. It's difficult to see a doctor. They have different terms. Even yeah. for me, I think doctor <coughs> is very difficult. Yeah, sometimes yeah. she take my kids to go see doctor when she come home and ask her, what did they say? She tried to explain and go, tell me exactly what happened. She goes, I don't know. <laughs> Kids can help. That's good. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I think it will be difficult even for my family. <coughs> okay. They don't they don't speak any English at all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But I so I guess they don't have so to. So where are you coming? Where are you coming from? From uh, Beijing, China. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I feel bad for the Chinese people here, <laughs> like they don't have so much help. Yeah, and here they, I mean, even they don't have a town. It, I think it's good that they have a. Um, like, like the um, the Vietnamese, they don't have a town, but they have like ch church or um, temple that every year they come together and they have New Year together. So I like to go to the New Year because when I go there, I, I get to try all kind of different food. You know. So is Mount Mount New Year <coughs> same as Chinese New Year or different time? Different. Yeah, Lao and Chinese, they, I believe they do in April or February or something. It's I like, forgot. It's like a January. lunar calendar, so it's different. Yeah. It's like February sometime. Right, I believe it's February. But for the Hmong, actually Hmong uh, New Year is supposed to be December 31st. December 31st, we start to do the ceremony and to do the uh, culture thing. And then the first to the seven, we celebrate, have fun. But now, because we don't have time, like I said, we don't have time, so um, we want everybody to come. So Milwaukee do one weekend, and then Green Bay do the other weekend, so we can go to drive them. But yeah. yeah, it's I heard not the, the exact time. Um, like the, the second generation, she mentioned like the, the Hmong New Year, like was hosting for three days, like in Milwaukee, but she visited her friend on the West Coast. It's like a week, but it's longer. Yeah, back in Laos, we have like a week, a week, seven days straight, just have fun. Yeah, now it's like, I guess for Chinese people, <coughs> for their like New Year in China, it's like holiday for, for family to gather together because everybody's so busy during other times. They have like was that the national holiday like you know first of July like something mm -hmm. for the Chinese New Year, so people get to travel during that t longer period. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, I w I wish we had ever we able to make it in one day like back in Laos we use one day the whole I mean uh, one certain time for the whole country, but in here we can't do that. Milwaukee celebrate this weekend and then Green Bay do next week and California they do next month. But it's a long new year, so the other kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. very long time. Thanks a lot. Yeah.